I have been friends for almost 10 years. We're with each other all the time, whether we're working or just being crazy. We love being together. It's got to the point where we're not just friends, we're like family. We laugh, we love, we cry, we laugh some more. As we go through the ups and downs, no matter where life's roller coaster takes us, we know we'll get through it together. And along the way, we've met some amazing people. Shauna! Keely met Shauna through an ex. Yeah, and at first she hated me. Well, she thought you were loud and obnoxious. I am! <laughs> anyway, Shauna is a good time girl who loves fashion and is always there whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a wingman at the club. Which is where Joey comes in. Shauna introduced us to Mr. J. Ryan a few years back. He's got his hands into every aspect of the L.A. scene. Promoter, publicist, and self-proclaimed socialite, Joey is all about being seen and making that money. Gucci! The baby of the group is Asia. This little dancer from the valley is young, full of life, and brings a positive light to... Everything. I know, right? God, yes. But she's our little sunshine, and we love it. Each week, the five of us meet for dinner to talk life, love, and everything in between. We don't always agree. Nope, no we do not. <laughs> but we always tell the truth. This is Dinner with Friends. <laughs> All right. Oh. Week's been awesome. So you guys, I was reading this article on Salon.com. It's one of my favorite websites. And basically the article was saying that men who are more financially dependent on their girlfriends or significant others are more likely to cheat on them. I found that really interesting because the broke boyfriend blues is something that like every woman I know has gone through at least once in her life and it never really works out. It, there's something that always comes and bites you in the ass. Even if he seems like the sweetest, greatest guy in the world, if he's not making that much money, you're always going to hit problems. He pulls, a pa he pulls a power move. That's what I feel. There, if he can't be like powerful within making money and taking you out on things like that to where you're dependent on him that way he'll pull something else that he wants to like control about your life it doesn't it's, i don't think it's always cheating i just think that they have they hold some kind of resentment towards you <laughs> <laughs> is that the broke boyfriend and there he is right now lorenzo what's up <laughs> I don't understand how, you, how do you end up with a broke person? Like, don't you go on the first <laughs> date? Like, do they pay for dinner or do you? It yeah, doesn't It doesn't start off that way. You don't know that they're broke when you meet them. They, they, have it, they them. front. They front yeah, at the beginning. They front in the beginning, but then when you're with them, what keeps them around? You Obviously, they're your boyfriend by this time. Man. I can't be with somebody that isn't getting up and doing something with their lives every single day. Like, that, it just doesn't make sense. What are you attracted to? When you're talking, you're texting each other, you're getting to know each other, I'm getting to know what your daily habits are. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your daily habits? Nothing? Just hanging out? Picking up his friends? And yeah, like that's chilling. not cool. My question is, do you guys care what type of job they have or is it just yep. a job in general? Nope. I care exactly what type of job they have. I want you to have a good job so that I don't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's different for you guys because you guys work in the entertainment world. So you guys have cameras going off at you at all times. So therefore, yeah, your man might be a little, you know, feeling like he's not the man because you guys are in the limelight, but when you're not in the entertainment world and you're making more money, say if you're working in the corporate world or something, then I don't think it's I don't agree. I, don't think it, I think if it was a fireman and a really, really high, high level attorney, level attorney yeah. yeah. It would be I think it'd be the same situation. Thing. Because so at you the end think of the, the guy would cheat if he was a fireman and maybe a level, he, really? Yeah. Maybe not mm -hmm. cheat, but he's gonna find some way to lash out and show his manhood because mm -hmm. his masculinity gets taken down when he cannot take care of. I'm sorry, yeah. men expect to be the hunters, they expect to be the providers, bring home the bacon, what have you. And when the woman is doing that, when she's like, it's okay baby, I got the check, and he's getting paid for and taken out like a girl, like she might as well be opening the door for him. Sidebar to what she just said, no woman should ever pay for the check. <laughs> So you feel like once you're in a relationship, it shouldn't be equal? No! I want to know that if I can't pay for this, you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if we're never going to be in a situation where we're both like, well, what? <laughs> <laughs> what you got? <laughs> or, uh, here we go, let's go back and start washing dishes! <laughs> okay, we can go on to talk about celebrities and, 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 and how it's happened with them. My favorite one is, because I love my girl Brittany, her and K-Fed. Okay? Never worked. Why? 
because he was a dancer. And she, who was she? Britney Spears with the black Amex rolling through like, yo, yo. And he was like, oh, I have my per diem from the tour. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I get J-Lo didn't work out. Christina Aguilera didn't work out. But let's look at Jennifer Hudson. She's in a great relationship Nicki with the person Minaj. that she's talking to right now. We don't now. know that Nicki she's Minaj in a great relationship. Nicki Minaj is talking to her dancers. She's that. in a great relationship. Well, they, she just had a they, baby. They're getting married. With the ring that she probably paid for. That's fine. But some, no, people, are fine. Fine. some people are fine with being the red runner because no, you're not. No, they're not. There are lots of celebrities that you can name that have dated guys who are not, quote unquote, as the Bible goes, Asia, equally yoked. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about, girl. Jesus says you should be with somebody who is equally yoked with you. He doesn't just mean spiritually, he means financially, he means socially, he means everything. You guys should be here with it. Okay? Yeah, but not here with it. Fine, your financial also comes from, I'm gonna keep going back to this, your ambition and your motivation. Yourself. If you Absolutely. Know, but just because you're maybe a little bit higher than where he is, if he's got all that ambition, exactly. him, please believe he's gonna catch up, if not pass you by. I honestly don't believe that you should discuss money with your man. Ever. Money should not, it shouldn't even be on the table. Very uncomfortable. Even Never in, even in marriage? Money. Okay, marriage is a different story. But that can lead to marriage is your relationship. My yeah, question for And you then guys we start is, talking about money. Mm -hmm. The moment we say I do and mine is yours, yours is mine, then we can start talking about money. I don't want to hear about your personal problems. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I'll I don't want to so, hear about it. It is yeah. such a turnoff. I'm sorry. It's yeah. the one thing that you dry yeah. up like the Sahara Desert as soon as he starts talking about his money problems. I don't so what hear happens about it. if no. you're <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I have our question for the week. Anonymous writes, I'm in a predicament. I've been with my boyfriend for five months and he has no job, no car, and he hardly offers to pay for anything. Oh, hell no. He's a really sweet guy and everything seems perfect except for the money. He's the first guy I feel like I can really trust and I don't know if I'm just being materialistic. Absolutely not. You are not just being materialistic. How are you being materialistic if there's no materials? <laughs> He only got one material, that's between his legs. But how are you being materialistic? Please oh tell me. Oh my god. I think what you should do is have a conversation with him. If it doesn't change, then you gotta drop him. But do you guys know how hard that conversation is? It's I'm not just telling hard. you, in that yes. conversation. That's why I never you had it. Have. And it totally screwed me. It doesn't have to be awkward, you guys. It, go, it comes down to. In a typical conversation, a general conversation, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? Where do you want to go with the rest yes. of your life? If they don't have answers to that, then that's probably why they're broke. If he doesn't come into the situation, meet this girl, and is like, oh my God, she's so wonderful, and I need to make myself better for her, then he's not worth your time, because that's the kind of guy you want to meet. You want to meet the guy who maybe doesn't have it all together, but is going to make it freaking happen, to make himself good enough so that he can keep you. Because that is the idea of a real man. A real man's going to do whatever it takes to keep you. This was a fun, fun, fun dinner tonight. Yeah, oh my it gosh, it's crazy. hysterical. I can't. Oh. Absolutely hysterical. I love you guys. I cannot wait for next week's topic. I love you. I love you. Good night. Is it on? Okay. So, at this point, you are probably wondering why the screen just went all and why I'm now sitting in front of a black curtain in the middle of dinner with friends, and I have an answer for you. It's because Sabrina's out of town and I can do whatever I want. Oh, no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Really, it's because it was my birthday a couple days ago and I thought, since Sabrina's out of town, I would show you guys my birthday highlights. So, without further ado, check it out. Hey! hey! Dinner with friends! <laughs> Boating with friends! <laughs> Remember last week's episode? You remember. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah! Happy birthday!